everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I have another doll clothing tutorial for you all and I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable little tied crop tops for your dolls. To start, we need to make a pattern for the top. This is my pattern here and you can see I've written out all of the measurements. So the top of the shirt is about four and three quarter inches long. The sleeves are about an inch and a quarter wide and an inch long. Then the shirt goes down about an inch and this main shirt part is about two and three quarters wide. And then I made these little tied parts that kind of go down. These are the parts that will get tied together. So they are about a quarter of an inch wide and about two inches long. And then I just made this little curve in the middle here. And this is what you'll need to make this doll top. So once you have your pattern, then you wanna grab your fabric. Personally, I'm using this red t-shirt material fabric. T-shirt material is really good because it does have a bit of a stretch to it and it's a decent thickness as well. So to make the top, you wanna fold this fabric in half, making sure that the stretching side is going sideways like that, not up. Basically, the fold is gonna be the top of the top, except the tied parts only have to be on the front side. So you can make the front side a little bit longer so that it fits the tied parts. And then the back only has to be able to fit the main shirt part, if that makes sense. So now I'm just gonna take my pencil and draw around my pattern so then I know where to cut. So now that I have the shirt sketched out on the fabric, I'm going to take my sharp fabric scissors and cut where I just do those lines. You don't need to cut an extra seam allowance because I did include the seam allowance in the measurements. Once I have that cut out, then I'm just gonna flip to the back and make sure that in the back we have a nice straight line. Like so. Also, I wanna quickly mention another reason I am using this t-shirt material is because it does not fray. Otherwise, it would be really hard to have these ties because it'd be hard to try to hem them. I'm not gonna hem mine because this fabric doesn't fray anyways. So do keep in mind that it is best to use a fabric that does not fray. So now what we're gonna do is lay this piece of fabric flat. So unfold it here and make sure that the wrong side is facing up and the good side is facing down. And then I'm just going to fold over these edges of the sleeve so that we can have a nice clean edge for the sleeves. You could sew it to hem this edge here, or you could just use some fabric glue, which is what I'm personally gonna do. And I only fold over a very small amount, probably about a quarter of an inch or not even. And I repeat that on the other sleeve. And then you can kind of fold the halves over to make sure that they are somewhat the same length because you don't want one sleeve longer than the other. So personally for me, it looks like mine are pretty much the exact same length. And then I'm gonna let that dry for about 10 to 20 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the shirt back. Then once I have the shirt like this, I'm gonna fold this in half again, making sure everything lines up. And then at this little point here, I'm just going to make a very small cut. And then we can unfold and we have the neckline. If your neckline is too small, you can go back and fold everything back and cut it a little bit bigger. However, do remember that we still are going to fold over and hem it, so you don't want it too big. So then again, with the wrong side facing up and the good side facing down, I'm going to cut four little slits at the points of the neckline. So one right here, one right here, and one right there. Oh, and one right there. And then again, you can either glue this down with fabric glue or sew it. So I'm just going to personally use fabric glue again. Up like a 
Once everything is dry, your top should look something like this. If you fold in half, you can see that the neckline is really nice in the front. If you don't want such a deep neckline on the back, then you could just cut it less deep so it's just a small neckline because this is a pretty deep neckline for the back of a shirt. Now what you're gonna wanna do is cut a line all the way from the neckline to the bottom in the back so that we can put the top on and off the doll. So I'm just taking my scissors and cutting right there. So I have a nice straight line cut in the back now. So now we are ready to actually sew this top together. So I'm just going to flip it over and then fold it in half so that it looks like it's t-shirt shape. And then hand sewing or using a sewing machine, I'm going to sew from the sleeve down to the bottom here in this L shape on both sides of the top. Put down my needle into the fabric. And then I'm gonna start by sewing back and forth a couple times just to lock the stitch in place. Then with the needle in the fabric, I'm gonna lift up the pedal, twist it, and then I'm gonna continue sewing down to the bottom here. And then I sew back and forth a couple times again to lock the stitch at the end. Then I'm just gonna repeat that on the other side. Now that we have that all sewed together, I'm gonna flip the shirt right side out. And now I'm gonna cut some pieces of Velcro for the top. And yes, these are huge rolls of um, Velcro. So yeah, don't worry, you don't need this much. Make sure the Velcro pieces are the same size. And then I'm going to attach them to the top. So for the first one, if we look in the back here, I'm gonna sew one half of the Velcro onto the front of one of the back sides. So right there. And then I'm gonna sew the other one. If we flip this side over, I'm gonna sew it in here. Keep in mind, you could always just glue the Velcro on, but I like to sew it on so it'll stay there for a long time. So now the doll top can come on and off with the Velcro. This next part is optional. However, I just think it brings the whole look together but I'm gonna add some stripes to the sleeves. As you can see, I did for this doll. To help me draw on the stripes nicely, I like to take some cardstock and put a piece inside of the sleeves so that it'll make it nice and flat and easy to draw the stripes on. I also put a piece in the main body of the shirt as well, just to help everything lay nice and flat. Before I actually do the stripes, I wanna mark out where they're gonna be so that they're even on both sides. So for me, I mark half an inch from the edge of the sleeve. And then once I draw out the first stripe, I can kind of figure out where I want the other one to be. Now I'm gonna be using some white acrylic paint for the stripes and a toothpick to draw them on. And then I'm just gonna take my time and carefully draw on the stripes. You wanna take your time and try not to mess up because you can't really go back if you accidentally do get acrylic paint somewhere else on the shirt. I like to start off by doing just a very thin line and then I can kind of fix it up and make it thicker after. Once I have the first stripe roughly done, then I can kind of make another one right beside it. Once I have those two stripes drawn out, then I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. Now I'm gonna give some time for these stripes to dry, and then when they are dry, I'll flip it over and do them on the other side. So now that all of the stripes are dry on both sides, 
I'm just gonna remove all the cardstock that I inserted into the top. So now I'm just gonna test this top on a doll, Velcro it in the back, And now I'm gonna take these little ties and tie them up in the front here. So now the doll top should look something like this. If these are too long for your liking, you can cut them a little bit shorter, which I think I might personally do. And as you can probably tell, they do kind of curl up a little bit, so they do become skinnier, but I personally kind of like how that looks. So overall, this is how the shirt looks and turned out. Of course, you could do this in any color. Um, I kind of want to try doing white with black stripes on the arms. I think that would look kind of cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed me showing you how to make this doll top and try to make it yourself because it is pretty simple and I think it looks super duper cute. This is how it also looks from the back, which I think actually looks pretty decent. So pretty clean from the back besides that kind of crazy stitching down there but that was my fault <laughs> also of course you could use like a red thread so it doesn't actually look so noticeable i just didn't have any so i just used some white now before we end today's videos the shout outs for today go to solani's world kayleen kale and Dawn's Doll World. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. Remember, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore delightful dolls, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take you there, take you there. Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to where we